Choose an injection site free of lesions and discoloration. Select a site three to four finger widths below the anti-cubital space and one hand width above the wrist. If you can't use the patient's forearm, inspect his upper back. If necessary, use a site that would be appropriate for a subcutaneous injection. Position the patient's arm so that his elbow and forearm are supported on a flat surface. Apply clean gloves. Use an antiseptic swab to clean the site, beginning at the center and circling outward about two inches or five centimeters. Remove the cap and hold the syringe between the thumb and forefinger of your dominant hand with the bevel of the needle pointing up. Stretch the skin taut at the injection site by pulling gently with the thumb and forefinger of your non-dominant hand. Hold the needle very close to the patient's skin. Insert it slowly at a 5 to 15 degree angle until you feel resistance. Advance the needle through the epidermis to a depth of about 1 eighth of an inch or 3 millimeters. You'll see the slight bulge of the needle tip beneath the skin. As you slowly inject the medication, you should feel resistance. If you don't, it's likely the needle is too deep. Withdraw it and begin the procedure again. As you inject the medication, a quarter inch bleb that resembles a mosquito bite will appear on the patient's skin. After withdrawing the needle, gently wipe the site with an alcohol swab or gauze pad. Do not massage the area.